man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest K in existence, and this is probably the most important. 2k24 video that you are going to want to watch okay so you don't waste your money on your builds they are scamming us in several ways quick drops has returned they say an acceleration doesn't matter i'm gonna go into depth various clips show you screenshots of the devs talking various tests i'm gonna break it down share the video because there's a huge misconception y'all see this 1.1 million Bro, half of these people don't know what acceleration means. Guys, they're finesse, finesse, scamming, scamming, scamming. Guys, I'm trying to help you. Uh, look, it, it don't matter to me. It's a tax write-off for me. I'm trying to save you, my boy. Why would I lie about something like this? We trying to help you. The game's broken, okay? You, you, you're, you're tripping, okay? I'm gonna show you Mike Wang's little brother talking about. It. Gotta stop your off your knees and stop taking the damn loads of 2K. Just cause a, a skilled player is is telling you something's wrong with the game, y'all are like, oh my god! It's, uh, uh, <laughs> Shut up! We trying to help you. We need to become one. I'm gonna show you why we need to become one. A lot of content creators are out there lying to you guys, spreading false information just to pander to you for, for views, for support, for likes and follows because they can't get it no other way. And, and people don't even realize it, bro. This is why 2K scams and arch your back over so crazy because you're not you. Because people are so dense, bro. Y'all don't stand up for nothing. Envy against a skilled player is so grand that you can't come together and fight 2K. <laughs> you just go keep getting finessed because your envy is making you fight with someone that is always going to be better than you no matter what, bro. It's crazy. He's a sin, man. Before we get into all that, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Help me hit 279K. Point three, we are a hundred subscribers away, and make sure you hit that goddamn like button. Help me get 500 likes within the first five hours to push it to the algorithm, man, so I can grow. Now, look, dude posted this, okay? I don't know if this is real or not, right? But I have other tests, okay? He's saying this is 93 acceleration and this is 71 acceleration. He's saying this is Hall of Fame speed booster. And this is gold speed booster. Now, if you don't see a problem with this, you're lost. This is very scammy, dog, right? Cause I'm gonna I'm show you why. I'm gonna show you the a build you can make with low acceleration and still get Hall of Fame speed booster. That's broken, dog. Like, look, let, let me let me let me show you now. Now look, Mike Wang himself, he said, pretty similar to 23. Speed with ball controls things like raw movement. This is this basically means after your fourth dribble, that's when speed with ball kicks in. The first one to two, one to three, that's your acceleration, your quick first step, your explosion out of a speed boost. We already figured that out in the past 2K. A lot of y'all don't know. So stop talking so arrogantly, bro. Bro, all 2K league comp players stage the guys with the 90 plus win percents we know more about the game than you're a casual negative win percent you can't find people to run with listen you want you don't want to get better you just think people are lying you don't you think someone who's in deep don't know what they're talking about? we're trying to tell you so you can save money and spread the word now look if this hoe don't matter that means the game's broken they made another mistake I'm starting to think this is by design. They're doing this on purpose, right? Cause I'm gonna show you. Cause look, it's 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 getting old, right? I'm gonna show you 2K Lab video, right? It's getting very old. This is just one test. They've did a hella test, right? There's no way they keep getting stuff like this wrong in 2023. This has to be on purpose, right? Because then people are gonna figure it out throughout the year and spam make a bunch of bills i think this is uh this is bad business bro like we don't get to test out the game demo like th this is just it's not cool right 
Hold on. Like they're making confirmation tweets and then it has nothing to do with anything. Now look, let's see what two, this is Mike Wang little brother on 2K Lab. Listen, listen to what he's saying. 99 speed completely outruns the player with minimum speed, but maybe most importantly this year, speed helps you turn and run faster. You can see the higher speed player here turn and just go right Okay, back. you so see? It's gonna be huge for offense and getting back on speed, speed, off so ball. Speed done, let's take a look at acceleration. Here you can see the higher acceleration player gets to the half goal line quicker. You see? The big question is by how much and when does acceleration kick in? So let's take a look at this in detail. Listen. Max acceleration player goes from dribble launch to his first down 10% faster. Now, if we're counting from first you hear that? First bounce to second bounce. He's still 10% faster compared to the player with minimum acceleration. But after the first two bounces, acceleration will no longer have an effect because that's when speed with ball comes in. So overall, acceleration is there to help you be faster with the ball on your dribble launch and your first two dribbles. And honestly, a 10% Your first two dribbles. Do you hear this? Right? So the clip I showed you, that's your first two dribbles. That's your explosion. Your first burst. Like what? Boost between 99 and 25 <laughs> is actually a huge deal in the context of 2k now but a key thing you have to understand with acceleration is that it doesn't help you go faster without the ball here you can see it's the exact same speed do y'all hear this it doesn't help you go faster without the ball do you hear this he's testing this he's showing you that it has been the same in multiple 2ks even though you read the description on 2k that thing lies it does not tell you the Bro, it's bad business. A lot of y'all need to get fired. I ain't gonna hold you. Mike Wang, this, this getting like old, bro. Like, come on, dog. Like, man, if, if if that stuff is real, like really real, that's crazy. You know, like if it if it's really real, okay? Like, if people really break, I'm look, I'm gonna tell you right now, don't go and make your builds based off this knowledge. It has not been really tested tested i see people posting clips and stuff but it ain't been like really really broken down and tested so just wait it out man look locks and centers and poppers they last throughout the year bro like they're always gonna be fine when when you make guards those are very those are more hard to make because <laughs> the guards are the only ones that have to adapt every year the locks they never do it's very easy to meet the thresholds and be viable throughout the whole year but the guard stuff the main ball handler that's the real tricky stuff and you really need what you need because everything's always against you every year right but just hold off on your your main ball handler builds till you hear something from me and you you really get information like just hold off right so Look. Acceleration difference is huge. If you don't have the ball, acceleration won't help you. And that logic also applies to turning around and running. So if you, you hear don't this? have the ball, acceleration is not going to help you be faster. He's saying it's not going to... This is 2K24. My tweet went viral. My tweets keep going viral. There's so many negative win percents. So disrespectful. P spamming me paragraphs. It might look like I'm complaining and crying. Bro, I'm being attacked, bro. And I'm, I'm telling y'all the truth. You not listening. I'm trying to save you money, bro. And lastly, speed with ball. Here you can see the highest speed with ball player gets to the half court line quicker. Now these players have the same acceleration. So off the dribble launch and the first two dribbles, they remain at the same speed. But from the second bounce onwards, you can see speed with ball kick in and the 99 rated player ends up being 13% faster. Than okay, so look, he's saying after the two dribbles, that's when speed with ball activates. When you're a, when you're like a meta, when you're a skilled PG, that those first two dribbles very important for speed boosting all that and it's not just north to south you bots bro that's why hyperdrive is connected with speed with ball bro we're trying to tell you now people are testing it out and it seems to be different i think when they nerfed the the game speed for guards in the beginning they just messed up the acceleration bro because i don't know because he already stated look he stated this already so it's like what's what's going on look explodes how fast you explode with your first step first step that's what this is that's what this is your first step if you don't see this as a this as a problem you're tripping bro if this was steel or something you would be very mad right you know like be real dog a lot of y'all are tripping bro <laughs> like, bro 93 versus 71 that's crazy and then a whole different in the I, I don't know what's really making them move the same but i don't know i'm, I'm all going in the context is if this is like a hundred percent valid right look look at all these likes all these people are ratioing me on my own tweet it just shows you the ignorance in the world in the community right and i'm i'm trying to help them 
<laughs> and they're just, they're being toxic. I don't get it, bro. Look, this dude does 60 acceleration, 90 speed with ball, and silver speed booster. Look at this. Look, he shows you this. Look how he's moving. What the hell? So like, what is it? Like, what's going on? What what's what's it connected to? You feel me? But everything is faster here. Like the game plays different than in park. I don't know, bro. Like, bro, the, the game's just broken. Now look, here's how they scamming you some more. Look, when you hit starter three, you unlock quick drops off one this is hidden within the rep rewards this is very scammy y'all don't y'all don't y'all don't understand like it's cool like you got rep rewards right but things with animations i think we should know within the animations like they should put out a chart or it should be in the game and tell us because when things like this come out hella people are going to change and make their builds different especially if it's still good I think that's corny. Especially they said it was out the game. They made a tweet, all this and that, right? And then we find out later that it's still in the game. Same requirements. So now people are gonna adjust their builds. I think that's scammy. I don't I don't think that's cool. Like your secret animations and stuff. Like I think that should be told to us in the beginning of the year, bro. Like it's like they make they, they do these these business practices and then they brag about their sales, but they're like finessing us, bro. And it's like, bro, like y'all are finessing. Y'all aren't being like a hundred. Like millions of people are gonna see this and make builds just off of this, right? Like they're gonna find out just off of this information. How much more money does that give them? You feel me? And then what if it doesn't matter, right? And then like they're gonna go back. It's kind of crazy, dog. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Now, look, we got Mike Wang, other little brother, okay? Drop a like. He gonna break it down to break all confusion, okay? Let's see what he gotta say about this. It's a hot topic today on Twitter, so I will split this video into two parts. First, I'll try to clear some speculations about acceleration affecting off-ball movements, because when I opened that tweet from 2K Intel, I was actually surprised that pretty much more than half of the comments believe that acceleration right? affects off-ball movements. So I realized that maybe any- Isn't that crazy? Bro, toots, toots. It's crazy, dawg. You be trying to tell them, and they spam you with paragraphs, so much disrespect. That That's why when y'all like randomly hear my videos, you hear all this patch, y'all don't understand. These people are crazy, bro. They're spamming me paragraphs. <laughs> Talking about, I don't, I don't read, I don't go to school. I never been to school. I never played college sports. I never played a sport in my life. I'm a gnome, bro. Y'all don't understand, they go so crazy, dog. They call you all types of names and you can't do nothing on Twitter, right? But look, let, 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 let's hear what he got. Does acceleration affect off-ball movements? No, it doesn't. It's been like this since 2K20 <laughs> where I started making videos. Facts. And you can see that's 25 and 99 Yo. and there's no difference at all. <laughs> I even tried to do lateral movements. And <laughs> Bro, I don't even want to show y'all the tweets, dog. People are ratioing me, telling me that it's for off-ball movement, right? <laughs> Hundreds of likes. I'm trying to tell them. <laughs> toots, toots, tell the same thing, there's no difference at all. And what it affects your lateral movements Look. is your speed rating, not your perimeter defense anymore. Uh -huh. So the mean use of Axel still remains the same. It gives you that launch speed on your first couple of steps, and that works even your dribbling still, then you just straight away launch. It can this. work even you make a dribble move while standing still, then launch. The thing about it though is the gap is too small. This one here mm -hmm. is 25 to 99 comparison, which is a 74 point gap. And it's going to be less noticed. But that matters when it comes to dribbling. Y'all don't know that though. Like like all these these little things, they matter, bro. If we cut these clips early. And here you can see that small of a gap, that's a 74 point gap already. <laughs> yes, that's a 74 point gap. So for those who are saying through the years that, oh, shoots, that's cap, acceleration doesn't work because I have one build that has 80 and the other one has 84 and I can't see any difference. Axel doesn't work. <laughs> well, that's normal. It's really hard to feel it. Keep in mind, this is a 74 point mm -hmm. gap. So if you really want to see your four point gap, 
you have to divide this into 18 parts. And <laughs> that's your 4.0 gap. It is really Tucci small, so don't expect to feel. <laughs> Come on, man. You got a you got a 2K of viewership, man. You, <laughs> you know that you know they braid activity not in it. You know, you know. <laughs> you just need to trust that it'll be faster the more you put Axel. So now for the next part, what about this clip here, posted by 2K Intel? He mm. said that it's a 22 point acceleration gap, and there's damn Intel every time, man. You be you be. I post something, you post. Uh, God damn, Intel, you be stealing my shine. No difference at all. So let's just assume that it's a legit test, that there was no mistake happened. So for that one, actually, I have two potential reasons why it's happening. First one, since it's a move that was cut short, maybe somehow Axel is not yet kicking in in that specific animation. That and doesn't even that, make. Toots, I ain't gonna hold you. That doesn't make sense. I ain't gonna hold you. This is a whole burst that's been in every single 2K. Every single 2K. You feel me? Like, we, we've been able to tell the difference with certain accelerations, and especially now since it's tied to so many badges, you should be able to tell a difference right here. You feel me? As I mentioned a while ago, this one here is a 74 point gap, which is around three to four times that gap. So maybe the gap was too small, plus the animation was cut short, so the difference was not noticeable. Again, that's just a maybe. Second reason, on 2K, there are moves that are not meant to be there that players just exploited, that's why it exists, and they were not programmed properly. I don't think 2K meant to have crabbing animations, it just happened. Mmm, Toots, I don't, I, don't, I don't know about this. Again, this is in every single 2K, they have gameplay testers that play just like this. They know all 2K League people, they test the game throughout the year, they play just like that. They test this stuff, and they know like guards, they're gonna be going for acceleration. So this is like tested. They know people are gonna do these moves. It's it's in their head. You can't really patch that. It's, it's in their head. They know this is going to be the meta for the certain top tier guards they know that hoes in the game this that's this is not no spinning steezo dribbling that's like really like the exploit stuff but this the canceling out just stopping and mm, you should notice a difference because that's one dribble and then still even without the one dribble that's that's your first explosion that's the start of your animation so if that's like really true I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't like how you went the the exploit route. You know, you you giving you giving them too much ammo. What you said right here, they gonna run with that damn toots. Happened that we can do it and it works. I don't think 2K meant to you know put that walk back animation to be in there as well. And I don't think this glitchy left right move meant to be in the game as well. So I'm thinking that maybe that it's it's in the game every year though toots. They're they're very aware of it. You can't really patch it. You know, you know when when they're designing their game they know it's there you feel me like it's tested you know they they want a certain acceleration if y'all get what i mean you get what i mean but i know a lot of y'all y'all hate uh that play style so you're probably gonna get very toxic glitch move wasn't programmed properly and since it's not meant to be there and not programmed well now it is bypassing whatever stat that it needs to rely on it is meant to be there because it's in every game. They they know it's there though, Toots. Think about it. Think about it. They got 2K League people that test they they test their game all the time. Like it's meant to be there. They know it's gonna be there. The 2K League been out since 2K18, right? They know that you can't take out no damn left right, bro. It's impossible. They're always gonna find a way. Like your Axel. So I think Axel still works fine as it is. It just happened that there'll be moves out there that was not programmed well that we can classify as glitch. Just like your standing dunk meter glitch that it's referring to driving dunk rating instead of standing dunk rating. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You calling left right a glitch? Oh, you tripping. You <laughs> toots, toots, you tripping. But hey, thank you for clarifying the information, my boy. So what plays a factor in drop steps? Zach is saying it's 10% calculation, 10% weight, strength, height, 70% post control for offense. And D, it's 20% weight, da 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 Hey, they saying the difference between a 6'9 and 7 foot. Look, in that Ticino wager, y'all go watch my reaction to it. The damn popper that was 6'8, it looked like he was setting screens just as hard as Z, Z's build who was 7 foot. So, hey man. Hey, they fixing some uh, quit out starting 5 game mode, not getting progress. Gatorade don't give you plus 4 no more. So look, don't make your build to go for guard up. He's saying it's very rare in pvp games probably the rarest badge to occur 
He's saying both will be tuned. What this basically means is, say you get one guard up every four games, you will get immense progress on it, right? Since it's so rare, he's, he's going to account for it. Now look, look, if this acceleration thing is true, here, here's, here's why it's such a big deal, right? Because then you can make something like this as a PG. You feel me? Look, look at this. You can still get Hall of Fame speed booster without acceleration by just going with your speed, right? Look at this. This is a meta like PG with no D. And of course, you could do other stuff even on bigger, taller builds. I know you're, yo, this is uh, no D. <laughs> I already know how y'all gonna talk, but look, this is how meta, you know, but it, n n none of that matters. This is a big deal, right? You can get a damn 98.3, you feel me? You can get all that goddamn finishing, all this playmaking, and you got extra speed. You get dex better. This is it's corny, bro. You feel me? If it don't matter, right? It's a big deal. It, it, it's like, damn, the whole month we've been grinding these bills, all those hours, all that time. Time is money. A lot of y'all don't get it. Time is money. Because you could be making money within that time, right? So it's like... You sacrificed it trying to grind your build. A lot of people don't like grinding builds and find out it's a waste. And now they're going to strap money from you too. They ain't going to refund you for a flaw in their game. And then if they do fix it, imagine all the people that already went to, you know, crazy. I think they should fix it though, because that's how everyone thought. If, if some idiot wants to go and just make their builds real quick, that's on them. But look, still, guys. Just be, hold off on making your guard builds. Like, I'm telling you, bro, the poppers, the locks, all safe to make, bro. <laughs> the sitters, them hoes is safe, dog. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Like, but when they, you know, yeah. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down, yo, off the top of the dome.